Hi guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows 10 without waiting for your opportunity for that no notification bar to appear. Basically, it appears here somewhere. So basically, before you, you know, if you want to basically install it, like you know, you can't wait like me. Basically, you know, you can't even get it on the App Store. Basically, even even if you tried it here. So basically, there's an alternative to actually where to install it because nothing comes up in the App Store in the windows okay so basically what we're gonna do skip all that and so as you can see here I've uh, gone to Microsoft website www.microsoft.com ENGM in the UK and that's the software downloads slash windows 10 and just enter here you'll be able to download windows 10 Keep in mind if you're installing or reinstalling the Windows 10, you can use the tool on this page to create your own installation media using either a USB, flash drive, or a DVD. I'll be using my hard drive because I've got plenty of space, I take it. Yeah, so I've got SSD hard drive, I'm actually using my operating system. That's uh, quite fast. And basically, is the one I'm gonna be keeping a backup for this one okay before you before you begin make sure you have the internet connection yeah blah 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 at least four gig space blah blah clean media recommended blocks blah blah okay keep in mind if it's your first time installing windows 10 you will need a product key so okay that doesn't i get a free Windows upgrade anyway since I'm on Windows 8.1. Keep in mind if you're on Windows 8.1, if you're on Windows 7 and Windows 8.1, you get a free for the first year basically upgrade. Okay, keep in mind you need to pick which one is yours, basically 32 bit or 64 bit. Mine's a 64 bit, I've already downloaded mine. So I'm gonna, once you download it, put it on a desktop and click on it okay once you clicked on it this is my first time basically I don't know what I'm doing basically uh, anyways what you want to do okay upgrade this PC now okay I'll be upgrading the PC create media or for another oh you can create another bit in a small way okay okay I'm gonna upgrade this one so I'll go next So keep in mind you can still use your PC, it's actually telling you you can use your PC freely while it's doing that, I think it's downloading if I'm not quite wrong, yep it's downloading. Um, keep in mind I do have a program to actually tells me basically um, what's downloading and what's uploading basically. The orange, orange means I'm downloading and basically the green one means I'm uploading. So as you can see I've got close to 40 meg or 3.5. 3.5 but close to 40 30 30 megabytes down download speed I'll close about 1 1.5 to but anyways I'm gonna let this run and once it's 100% I'll carry on from there okay once that is done 200% it's downloaded that much um, just, just quickly just to find out how much is downloaded it's, it's downloaded close to 2.8 gigabytes of data for Windows 10 so that's how much is we will be downloading. That's from ESET Smart Security. This is the tool I'm actually using. And uh, basically, I'm just waiting for the the Windows 10 to actually create the video Windows 10 media right now. So once it's at 10, 100 percent now. Okay, now it's preparing to actually boot itself to Windows 10. So basically what we will do once you clicked on this icon is basically, okay I'm going to allow this, so basically once you click on this it will start to download, after that it will uh, 
start to basically after it's downloaded it's going to be ver verifying the data and then it's going to check the update so it's going in process maybe. okay keep, keep, keep in mind this is my first attempt so I have no idea how it will actually update basically I was kind of wasn't thinking that what happened there, but anyways, okay. This is the license terms. Okay, blah blah. Okay, accept these terms. Okay. Okay, it seems to be like downloading something. I'm saying it's checking updates. So I'm thinking it might take up to what, three three gigabytes of data downloading if it's doing this. But anyways, I'm gonna wait till this gets on ten hundred percent and get back to you guys in a sec. Okay, guys. So basically, what's happening is right now. Um, upgrading to Windows 10 and uh, this is a process uh, in between where it's installing then it restarted and it's telling me that it's gonna restart several times and basically it's upgrading to Windows 10 it's copying the files right now so as previously um, I told you guys where to actually download the file that's from Microsoft website and uh, I will uh, give you the link below. Also, might, you want, might want to check out um, exactly um, how much data it requires to actually download the file. It's uh, close to 3 gig altogether when it actually downloads the file. Um, I will let you know. Okay, I'll keep you guys posted once it's fully upgraded to Windows 10. Okay, we have just installed the Windows 10. First expression, awesome. So right now, they replaced the start menu, which is kind of sick. Also, it's also basically they have replaced the desktop by the way it's uh, viewed, which is kind of awesome. So as you can see, I'm actually using a software for this OBS to actually record, which is kind of neat. So as you can see here, the icons, some of the icons are changed, changed as well. So there you have my system. It's a Windows 10 Home. Okay. And as you can see here, it's all up and running. So far, no problems. And thank you for watching. Subscribe and like the video, guys.